hi everyone welcome to my channel and in today's video tutorial I will be showing you how I made this and also this hair bow so I know I already have a video tutorial to a similar thing that I did but instead of iron on vinyl I did use Krika infusible ink so this is the one that I used so there are like pros and cons to Krika infusible ink and I'm just gonna go down that list really quick um, basically it would be kind of like infusible ink versus a regular Krika iron on and before I begin if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do and don't forget to click the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video Okay, so the items that I use, a Cricut, I have a Cricut Maker, but a Cricut Explorer will also work. And a regular sticky mat. I'm going to use my very old, very used Strong Grip, just because it's the only mat right now that I have that's sticky. All my green ones are not sticky, but a regular mat will work. You need a heat press, but I only have an iron, so I'm just going to use the iron. Cricut Infusible Ink, Cricut onesie or t-shirt. Um, if you don't want to get the Cricut, I know that only polyester onesies work, scissors, and a weeding tool. Okay, so the first thing I did was to go on dotfont.com and in the search bar, I'm going to type couture and search it. And this first font right here, I'm going to download it to my computer. It's free to use. And here's the download button. And as I scroll down on the website, you could see that if you on your keyboard use a dollar sign, it will have this perfect Chanel logo. If you don't want to download a free font, um, you could just go on Google and type in a Chanel logo. And there's just so much things you could find. I have uh, done these before, have used these before, but they are not like when I cut them out, the lines are not straight and not perfect. So I just prefer doing the font. Anyway, so I'm going to open my Cricut Design and I'm going to insert text and I'm just going to do the dollar sign. Here's my dollar sign and I'm going to change the font. So it's going to be in my system fonts. And in the search bar, I'm just going to type in couture. And there it is. And I can make it as big as, as I want it to be. And it's just it's just perfect. Anyway, so I'm just going to change it to a white right for now. And I'm going to move it to the side. And now I'm going to insert a circle shape. So the size right here, I'm just going to change it to an even number so it's easier for me to work with. So for now, I'm just going to put five and then I'm going to duplicate the circle. So there's two of them and I select both of the circles and align center. So now the circles are in the center. Now I'm just going to click on one of them and right here on the side, I'm just going to click the button going down and I think I'm going to do 4.7. No, I'm going to do 4.8. Anyway, so I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to align center again. And then I'm going to click while it's selected, I'm going to click slice and I'm going to move all the sliced images. So I'm going to delete the solid shapes and just keep the circle. And now I'm just going to mess around with it and make it a little bigger. I'm going to insert text again and then I'm going to type in Chanel. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to click curve and I'm actually going to curve the word. So basically I just kind of mess around with it so it like matches the circle. I think this is okay. But I also don't like the spacing in between. And what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to click advanced and ungroup two letters and I'm going to move it closer. I'm going to select all the letters and I'm just going to wall them. Okay, now I like everything to be really perfect. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select all the images, align and center. Then I'm going to click Chanel and the circle align bottom. Now it's align bottom center. And then I'm going to click. So I'm trying to click the Chanel logo, but it's clicking the circle. So right here on the right, 
it shows me what's selected so while the circle is selected i'm just going to hold down the shift key and select the chanel logo and now i'm just going to align top so it's a line top center and now i'm going to click on the chanel and my and on my keyboard i'm going to press the up arrow and i'm just going to kind of mess with it to see how i like it and just make it all perfect and then i'm going to do the same thing with the logo and on my keyboard i'm pressing the down button okay and that's done so now i'm going to select all three images and i'm going to weld the whole thing together and the way i resize it is i measure the onesie so i measure the onesies width and in this case this size onesie i liked how um, five inches looked so i'm going to go right here to the size on my Cricut design and the width i'm just going to change it to five and because it's a circle and it's perfect um the height is the same and i'm just going to click make it for Cricut iranon and Cricut Infusible Ink, which I am using Cricut Infusible Ink, you do have to mirror the image and then click continue. And under the material, I'm just gonna click browse all materials. Oh, by the way, before I continue, so because I was working with just a font and the circle shape, everything on the settings is automatically in a cut. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So right here, the line type, it will say cut, and the fill say no fill. And then this little white square is going to have a red line. This means it's just going to go through the Cricut. It's not going to go through printer. You don't need a printer. You just need the Cricut Infusible Ink or Cricut Iron On. And I'm using Cricut Infusible Ink. So you do not need a printer. I get this, I get this question asked a lot if people need to print an image and then cut it on the like the vinyl but you don't if you already have the vinyl and stuff you don't need to have it go through printer and when working with fonts or like the shapes that are provided by Cricut and the everything is automatically in cut so this does not need to be changed whatsoever anyway so browse all materials and I am using Cricut infusible ink so I'm just gonna type in in few and okay and there it is infusible ink transfer sheet done right here it will tell you what tools you need and what mat you need then i'm gonna load my mat and press fast mode because my Krika has that option and that's it and i will start cutting it If you like this bow and you would like to know 
how I make them. I actually have a full detailed tutorial on these bows and the link is down in the description below. I also sell these hair bows not with this print but I sell these hair bows on my website as well. And these are washable and you can stretch them and that's what's cool about infusible ink because then it looks printed on and it just looks more professional I guess. Alright thank you so much for watching my video and if you enjoyed the tutorial please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my website www.jonastar.com where I sell my handmade items. I have all the links in the description below so check it out. All right. Thank you. Bye.